hey guys what's up welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create the swing application to add two numbers using java so for that let me just open intelize here so if you are comfortable with other id like netwins or eclipse you can go with that as well and let me just click on this new project to create new java project and let me just choose java here and let me just click on next just click on next here and let me just give names something like add demo swing and let me just click on enter so inside this source let me just create one class let me call it add number and let me just extend this class with jframe so for that let me just type extend and just type jframe so which will basically give the support to swing so once I do that, let me just write the labels and text fill here. So for that, just type J label to give the labels and we can give label one, label two and label three. So basically label one is for first value and label two is for second value. So we just want to add these numbers. So for label three, we will be writing for the result. And let me just give the text fill as well. So let me just give text fill similarly. So just text one for first value, text two for second value and text fill three for result. And we just want to click on button as well. So for that, just type J button and just type B1. So we are giving the button here as well. So these all J label, J text and J button are imported from the swing here. So once I do that, let me just create one constructor. So let me just type public and just type add num. So inside here, let me just type super. So just type super. So inside here, we will be giving the title for the swing application. So we can give something like add numbers or you can give any title. So once you do that, you just need to write the label one. So for label one, we will be giving the new and just type J label. You can just type first value or first number so you can just write anything from here and once you do that just write the second label as well so in second we just want to input the second value so just type second value and for third level so we are writing the third level for results so just type result so once you do that, we just need to input the text field as well. So we just want to input the value as well. So for that, let me just type T1 for J text field and you can give the size 10 for columns. And similarly for text two, new J text field and just give the column size like 10. And for text three, which is basically for result and just type J text field and just give the column size 10 here so once you do that we just want to add the button as well so for button just type b1 and we just want to write the j button here and inside here we can just give something like click here or you can write something like add as well so just type add and once you do that we just want to set the layout as well so for setting the layout just type set layout and new so we just want to add the flow layout so for that just type flow layout and just type flow layout dot lift and we just need to give the horizontal gap and vertical gap so we just want to give 150 as our horizontal gap and 10 for vertical vertical gap so now we can just add these label into this layout so just add label one and just type add text field one sorry not three one and add text label two and add text field two and now add label three for result and just type add text field three so once you add all the label and text field so we just want to add the button as well so just add button just type b one and once you do that you just need to set the size as well so let me just give the set size and we can give some dimension like 400 for width and 300 for height 
and we just want to type the set visible to show the string application so once this is done so once we click on this add button so we just want to get the sum of these two numbers and show our display into the result so for that we just want to add the action event so for adding the action event we just want to implement this jframe using the action listener interface so for that just type implements and just type the action listener which is basically an interface so we just want to implement this interface so if i just hover onto this so this will automatically give us the method name so for that just type implement methods and this will show this only method or override method so we just want to implement this action perform method so just click on this or you can write yourself as well so once you add this so this will automatically add this override method here so inside here we just want to get the two numbers and add these two numbers once we click on the button so for that just type int x and we just want to get the value from this text field 1 and text field 2 so for first value we just want to get the t1 dot get text so just type get text so this will basically come into the string so we just want to change it into the integer so for that we just want to type integer dot parse int so this will convert this text field into the integer so let me just paste it inside here and basically let me just do the same thing for second value as well so just type int y and we just want to parse int here just type parse int text field 2 dot get text so this will get the two values x and y from this text field whichever we will type into the this text field so once we get this text field we just want to add the value so let me just type int sum and let me just add these two values just type x plus y and we will store in the sum so the sum will be sent into this text field 3 so to send the result into the text field 3 so we can just type something like t3 dot say text and just type string dot value of and whatever the sum or value we get here so this will set the whatever value of sum we will get into the text field 3 and once you do that we just want to add the action event or action listener into the button as well so just go inside here and just type button one dot add action listener dot this and once you do that just go here and just type the main method here and just type new and add num and just give the semicolon so once you do that so this will looks fine here so just right click here and run this application So here you can see the swing application here. So it's working perfectly fine. So let me just try some values here. So let me just type 11 and just type another value 11. And if I just click on this add button, so this will show the result here. So if I just want to change some value like 10 and just click add, so this would show the 21. So which is basically a correct value for this addition. And this is how you create your first application using Swing to add two numbers using Java. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.